as we welcome you inside the Charlottetown Civic Center. Four games on the ice. Three of them have consequence. Saskatchewan, B.C. Saskatchewan, we know it will finish first. B.C. must win. And Saskatchewan has made a lineup change. Tammy Schneider at second. Slipped this morning on the ice. Jolene Campbell will throw second stones. Ontario, a win guarantees them third place as they play Quebec. A PEI will wind up their round robin against Newfoundland and Labrador. And, of course, our featured game, Team Canada, a win gives them second place. Alberta must win to avoid going home. So it's time to meet the team. Now it's brought to you by Tim Hortons. Celebrate 25 years of Roll Up the Rim to win. From the St. Vital Curling Club in Winnipeg, Skip Jennifer Jones, Don Askin, Jill Officer, and Caitlin Laws coming out with a wonderful game earlier this afternoon. To play Alberta out of the Calgary Winter Club, Shannon Clybring, Chelsea Bell, Bronwyn Webster, and Amy Nixon. Team Canada won the draw to the button. And they are playing the Red Stones. Shannon Clybring is moving out. All the pressure in a must-win final round-robin draw here at the Scotties in Charlottetown. And to get us going playing yellow. The Alberta lead is Chelsea Bell. The front ends match up in a very interesting fashion. The numbers all favor Team Canada, but Chelsea Bell is number two, facing, of course, number one, Don Askin, on the other side, but still has a similar style. Shannon Clybring does start the ends a little bit similarly, putting guards and come arounds in play. We start to see the separation and style of play more in the back ends with the thirds and the skips. Absolutely. Amy likes to hit. Shannon likes to hit. Uh, they not hit. They can't draw, but their draw per percentage, when we do look at it, it's a little bit lower than it normally is in past years. So that could be a key as this game wears on. <laughs> I was just waiting because earlier today, remember we we were saying it's 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 automatic. That stone is there, and immediately up goes the corner. That's her style, right? She doesn't try to be unpredictable. Jennifer Jones lays it all out there in house for five years. I'm going to play with rocks in play. I don't care if that first one is right on the button, which, by the way, it is right on the button. I'm going to put up the corner guard, and right away I want to force the issue and get some rocks in play and see if I can get my juice. Sends a message. It's we're not afraid of you, and this is what we're going to do. You try to stop us. Now, Vic, the one little thing that Russ and I have chatted about before the game is the situation of the raw colors. It's luck of the draw, where you end up each day and what color you're throwing. But there are two sets of rocks that have shown up slightly different wins and losses. Actually, the yellows on sheet A have the most discrepancy. But when you look at sheet D, the red stones, their draw percentages are way lower. 72% for draw, 80% for hit. That spread often shows up when the rocks are a little harder to manage because hits usually can be made with the up weight without big trouble with any of the sets of rocks. So if you say that, then you say a little edge for Alberta. We just have to think back to prove your point to uh, the uh, game with Saskatchewan. They really struggled. The only loss they had, and they were arguing about the rocks most of the game. And uh, it uh, interesting to see if Canada can figure them out. Back. Remembering now that Team Canada does have last rock playing the Red Stones as we say good evening to Kathy Gochi. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Victor. For Russ and Linda, you talked about some of the challenges for Alberta. Well, the big challenge this morning was the time clock. Shannon had just over five minutes, and one of the things that they have had difficulty with at this year's Scotties is the absence of the timeouts that actually stop the clock. They really feel that that one minute that they can see the clock stop to take a look at the situation 
is massive to them. Earl Morris, coach of Team Canada, also feels that his team has been very rushed. Something that has been an issue in the past, but for tonight, Shannon Clybring, that will only increase her nervousness. And yeah, it has become an issue, and it's uh, the subject of our week's report with Bob Weeks, and that comes up at our fifth end break. The coach's intervention, or more simply, the coach's visit. Five minutes to play the last stand is not a lot of time, especially if you're having to generate some extra points. The draws take so much longer, so they will have to keep an eye on that clock. Here's a big break for Team Canada. Although that rock is in the rings, it's only in the 12 foot. And with the hammer, Jennifer Jones can just ignore it. Like four and a half, not quite? Yeah. Might be there four and a half. It seems like an, yet another game, Russ, where we can point to Jennifer Jones showing us a very good style of play when you're trying to generate extra points and how she looks at the shots and figures out how many rocks down the road it'll take to free up the house and find a way to use that corner guard she plays on her first one. I'll be interested, sorry to interrupt you, but I'm interested to see how she plays Jill Officer today. She had absolutely no draw weight earlier today. And she made one good one in the end, they scored three, and that was obviously one of the reasons they got the big three, and that was the difference in that game, but uh, she kind of had the heavies there, a couple uh, through the rings and a couple way deep, and uh, if you're going to make a mistake, you're better light. She wraps one around there. I got just on the T line, not quite hidden, maybe half a stone buried. This isn't what you would expect Boy, from Amy Nicky Butch, who is sitting fifth. Sitting fifth, Vic, and Whoa. if you look at that plus Whoa. minus Whoa. where you see how every Whoa. game they played against the opposition Whoa. player, Whoa. she's a plus one. Whoa. Out of the 10 games she's played, yeah, often yeah. she would be in that mid plus range of five or a six. But she has just struggled against the opposition thirds and in general. Our spies tell us she made everything in the Alberta playdowns and uh, that it is a little uncharacteristic to be that low. a challenge you're playing someone who was playing well played very well earlier today caitlin laws oh, she was terrific Real hard. maybe several runbacks to get canada out of trouble for a young player too vic the mistakes like that one you wanted to ideally roll dead buried but the worst thing you could do is roll out so she misses the right way more often than not and that's a great sign for such a young player As we watch Amy Nixon. No! 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 No roll. And uh, there is the roll, and it will pop out the wide side. And interestingly enough, I mean, on that stone for Caitlin Laws, the weight she threw just to punch it through to make the takeout controlled. We go back to that last rock we saw from New Brunswick and overthrown by the New Brunswick skip you got and great. eventually you gave up, of course, no the two. Line. Andrea Kelly from Oromocto no giving up that you steal of two when she could have Julie. eliminated the BC. The difference, she didn't have to throw it that hard. So exactly, you had to hang around, so you know you can hang around with hack weight. That really, when you look back to that shot with Andrea, oh. you uh, critically, you could have thrown anything from back line to, uh, to, to board, but... Uh, they, they play in a lot straighter surfaces, and I think what happens is you look at the, the amount of curl you get for a draw, and they get a little spooked, and they want to throw it a little harder for the hits to keep it straighter, and uh, you're absolutely right, Vic. Uh, weight control is the key out here. You see Glenn Howard from Ontario. You see Kevin Martin, Kevin Cooey, all those top teams. The ones that are winning are throwing the right weight all the time, all the shots. Now, I love this because Shannon Clybrink, we've already said, likes to hit. So she decided to hit and roll to try and force the end, but she rolled in behind cover, even a little beyond, but left the come around for Jennifer. If you do that, you're going to get punished once in a while, and it's already happened because they made the come around in front of the T line. That redstone is buried, even if you tried to get at it, you jam it. And now you're trying to prevent the deuce 
in a very <laughs> difficult way. Good luck preventing the deuce. That's in the perfect spot. As you say, it's probably going to jam. You'd almost have to tick it side, dead sideways with hack weight or go around it, half around it. So uh, a tough situation here already. And that's because Ontario or Canada, excuse me, is confident enough to leave rocks in play and create some pressure on your opponent. Vic, the option for Alberta would have been to roll more to the middle and see if Jennifer is willing to ignore that and go around the corner. No, it's going to come up light. Shot stone remains the one on the fighting the top of the eight foot. And that's Canada with the last draw. So this is a complete guess. I don't think she's got a whole lot off that one. So even back here. I disagree with Jennifer a little bit. If she does miss this draw, she's not taking a ton of ice. They can tap that a foot. I know. There would then be a double that Jennifer would not be second I shot with her shooter. What I threw on my first one there. Tempted to throw the open hit, which is pathetic. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I just need eight foot. Okay. I so think maybe what Jennifer was referring to is uh, worrying eight about eight the positioning of this rock and whether or not Shannon would have something to double out the ribs. Right. I'm trying to guess because I was confused on that statement as well. Yeah. Yeah. If this goes behind the T line, you could play the angle raise, albeit the red could jam this. And it seems like this machine is now rolling. Uh, Team Canada looking very strong today. I'm going to get hurt. It. I gave it some. Make Sonia, sure. Not moving it. Just make sure line's good. Not moving. Yeah, One thing about Jill and Ron, they are very good Sweep at the judging the draws. And the other thing is the communication with the person holding the broom in the in the house quite often, a number of times this week. The communication level between the brushers and uh, whoever was managing the house was, you know, just a little bit of a letdown. Big rollover, guys. Okay. Eight and a half. Close. You threw this really hard. Right. You might be able to make the double, but I, I think they're Perfect. calling for the hit and roll. Try to get it in behind in the back of the eight foot. Hit and roll is Shannon's go-to right shot, off. and occasionally she ups the no, weight, no, and that no. means that you can't no, manage yeah, it with the brushers. Yeah, and now oh. the roll, and sorry, Shannon. It'll spin too far. The apology from Amy path. Nixon. And now this is a draw to open with a couple, and just a good chunk of the white, a good chunk of the eight is right what she needs. I missed that completely. I'm so sorry. So did I. I got great. <laughs> But it was all right top of the house. I, know. I think I could throw that same weight. You guys just wouldn't sweep it, right? Yep. Should clean up a couple of feet, I would think, yeah. now. Yeah, same. Big point, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Gotta so. be in the eight foot. A big point indeed to open with a couple. Get your second point with Hammer here in the first. A little bit more. more. I don't think it's bad though. Line's good. They Not feel really it's moving. two feet faster because they've just thrown down this path and then there was Shannon's hit. So they, they want to be careful here. This should slide a little bit better. Eight foot. Good brushing, guys. That's good. You're good. You're good. Good brushing. No, they're good indeed. Team Canada opens with a couple in a must-win game for Alberta. Alberta will have the hammer when we come back. Well, let's begin our updates over on sheet A. Saskatchewan nine and one. We know they will finish first. And Kathy Goche trying to send. British Columbia and Kelly Scott home to Kelowna early. Final stone here for Amber Holland. 
Well, she's playing the blank, and you can see on the left that it is Jolene Campbell, the fifth tonight, in replacing Kim Schneider. Okay. And it will be no blank. And it's one nothing, and there are the two Schneiders. It is Tammy Schneider that is off tonight. Kim is playing third. Uh, Tammy slipped earlier today. Now on sheet B, B, Ontario trying to avoid falling to four losses, but it is Quebec that has the final stone, the hammer. Marie-France LaRouche drawing against a couple. Well, she is. It was a really good shot by Rachel Holman on her second roll behind the guard. Really spread out the stones. Up until then, Quebec may have had a chance to get out of this with a blank, but you can see the separation. It is a draw to the eight foot for one. Difficult week for the, the uh, Quebec champions to come in with a record of four and six. Go, 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 and boy, they need to scrub it to drag it there for the single point. And in the other game, Prince Edward Island, Suzanne Burt playing Newfoundland, Stacey Devereaux from the Valley Haley. Newfoundland and Labrador with the hammer. They blank the first, so they have the last rock again in two as we welcome you back. Team Canada got two in the first, so Alberta has the last rock here in the second playing the Yellowstone. Team Canada played in, corner guard by Alberta, then a guard up, and now this is the come around freeze. Might tap it a little bit. As we touched on it last show, the tap is not wrong. Open up that scoring area. Tap it even farther if you can. It was called the freeze, but I like the tap for sure. Leaves a run back for Jill, but it's still not a easy shot for them to play. Yes! Oh, oh! No, 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 no. Ah. Hard Jen, hard Jen, hard Jen, hard Jen. No, 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 no. no. Ah. Okay. That's a great situation oh, for Alberta. They now have two corner guards and a biter. Doesn't get much better than that after the first five rocks. What's that? Like a 14-3, like yeah. it's just a bit. Yeah. Just to the corner, it's a bit sticky. They really struggled the first two ends with draw weight uh, this morning. Everything was heavy. They're right, it's a little bit stickier going to the wings in that spot at the moment. I timed it at about 14.3 seconds hog to hog, and we were easily 14 and a half sliding nicely to T line in other games. They're going to try the big weight double here, but they can't see enough of it, so they brought the weight back down, try to hit and either roll towards the yellow or in behind the red guard. Jill Officer, Lord! as we play second stone. Really hard! Asking. Gotta go, really hard! Caitlin Whoa, Laws yep, on the left. Yep, yep. Where's, that on that. Where's that red one going? Where's that red one going? Sweep it, sweep it, sweep it, sweep it. Go, 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 Could go, 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 go. for plan B. And it'll rub and roll out. Along the way, you need some breaks. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> So do you think the same in this spot? No, I think this will be a keener spot. Personally. Okay. So it's still a good situation. One guard up. Chance to sit two. Have to stay away from the double here, which is going to be tough because you have to be really high in the rings, ideally. There. Needs to curl. Well, if you can. I think we're there. Room. Five. Six. Lots and six. lots of room. Wide open. you got to be it's deep. running. Whoa. Deep we. Running. Back eight. They're calling out top eight, so taking him back is not going to be an option. You want to kind of hit it over the top if you can. Firm.
Caitlin Laws. Off, off, off. Watch it, Jill. Follow it through, Jilly. Follow it through. Oh, and just right. behind. Right, and it's actually pushed it a little bit further behind that corner. Certainly has, Vic. You could if you want to be aggressive, and I'm sure Shannon won't be. You could go right around with the out turn and bury another one, but uh, nothing wrong with splitting the house here and trying to protect the two. So 14. Yeah. One bad like break, seven, one seven. good break yeah. now chopped up for Alberta. Got that little touch on the rock. Really gonna pearl. Amy Nix. Seven. Good information right from the, the skip. Middle, Obviously, really good, Amy gave it a little outside in release because Shannon said it'll curl, and that means that they have to be careful here? for the weight. It'll take a different path. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's great. It's good. They took it back because that's the rock that's the obvious one to hit. The other one's partly covered. And they wanted to avoid giving Caitlin Laws an easy hit and roll in behind cover. Yep! Right out of her hand. Yes! Oh! Barely let it go before go. asking an officer oh! jump all over it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Roll it out. Roll it out. Right out. Okay. And out it will go. The reason for the rollout is they don't want to leave something that Alberta can draw to or cause a potential jam. Same line. Line's the same. Really down the middle still. Come on, hard guys. A little lighter this time, which is great if they put it in the top part of the 12 foot. Here comes Shannon Clybrink as well to join on, Webster guys, and on, Dell. Push, push, it don't hurt. Come on, buddy. Go, 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 Little go. more, need a little more. Oh. oh. Just play guys. And that is on that one, the off the hook shot. Eight. Tough one, bud. She showed you earlier she's number five in terms of thirds. What's her drop percentage been like? It's 71 percent to her hits at 80 percent, Vic. So that has been a struggle for Amy. Very straight throwing arm, and it's tough to actually have some feel when your arm's that rigid. I got peace. Okay. Okay. Remember, too, we have said it's not the go-to shot for either Amy or Shannon, so they play fewer than some of the other thirds and skips, and sometimes that does take away a bit from the feel. And so here's Jennifer's out. There whoa, is the roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watching it, Amy Nixon jumps all over it, and it'll pop yeah. out the wide side. British Columbia, we told you, must yeah. win against Saskatchewan. Right now, it's Saskatchewan sitting on the lid. But that second shot at the back of the eight, can BC bring that into play, Kathy? Well, they sure can. It has been a struggle, this and four rocks coming short. Gina short on both of hers. Kelly slid to the back. That is the second shot stone. Amber had some room to get by. So with the right weight, this is a makeable shot for two. Have to get it by the center line guard first. Oh, they did. Now, can they avoid the jam? Push it back and far enough. No, the little rub. So they didn't get across the nose quite enough. They'll have to settle for their single tied 1-1. One, one. That was kind of a strange way for Kelly Scott to play that. I thought she could play that with a little more weight and bounce it off the back ones. Most definitely. It might have been a plan B. Uh, with that kind of weight, you could hit half rock on the high side and clear uh, the back rock pretty easily. Shannon Clybrink and her first. She does have the hammer, the last rock here in the second. Just trying to wrap it around that corner. Got to keep it alive here to get the curl. And they'll just drag it to the top edge of the eight. That is the shot stone. Yours kind of 
tell you one thing, the brusher's going to be tired in the fifth in break. They think they're brushing every rock out of the hand. And they're going to have to try and recover. Because this is a must win for Alberta. They sleep, but it was there on its own, the line would yeah. That's what I was thinking, too. Just had to pound a coast to coast, so it stayed out there. Caitlin was a little bit. Yeah, no. <laughs> How much uh, you have to worry about a possible jam it. here? It can happen. No, there's no question about it. Uh, three quarters on the high side could the jam it if they're a little unlucky. So uh, she has to take on the guard here. You're right, Vic. You have to get pretty close to that guard to uh, to nose this. For Shannon's, if it got, had gone deeper, would have had more curl, and then we would have been talking big oh, trouble, oh. big difficulties. Clean, yeah. Coming up a little short, oh. better for Jennifer. And she does almost to the nose, pushes it out the back. Nice one, Dan. Stop. Nice wait. Nice and so Team Canada sitting two, and that's what will be facing Alberta and Shannon Clybrink for their last. Good call. Ten and a half to go. I wanted to not oh, overthrow it. It's it doesn't still matter. going. You know, it's interesting. It one of the things that athletes will tell you is that you know, as the pressure builds, muscles tighten okay, up. So you're not quite as free and. With your releases, and you see now Alberta, and that's, I mean, they're very experienced, and it's not suggest that this is happening, but they're coming up light in some of those those draws, and maybe they are just a little tight. Yeah, overthinking too, Vic. I think sometimes uh, just nothing seems quite as automatic when you feel that pressure. You're going to have to be careful here because they're playing a path they know, which they think will run straight, but of course drawing towards an enemy rock. Going to be sticky. Here comes Amy Nixon. Just when we said you need to let loose a little bit. Don't be so tight. Don't be so tight. And oh my. Shannon Clybring pulls the string. Steal of two, Team Canada. On this night where so many games are important, such as this one on Sheet B, Ontario, playing Quebec. Ontario, Rachel Holman, Kathy knows if she wins, she can get at least third place. Well, a really tough group of shots she's had. Maddie Frantz Badouche made two great taps through a small hole. Rachel Holman needs to get through the hole, half a stone back. That is biting the button. Remember, she won her first five was among the leaders before she lost to Saskatchewan in a first place battle. What a nice shot, she'll pick up the single. Then she sort of bumped a little bit, losing three of four, but has now come on in the last day and a half. Tied 1-1, Ontario and Quebec. Here on this Thursday night, from Charlottetown and the Civic Center, final round robin draw of the Scotties. Boy, oh boy, Team Canada gets two and then no sooner did it come out of our mouths about the drawing problems, the draw weight Mind problem for Alberta, and Shannon Clybrink comes up light, steal of two, four nothing for Canada. Alberta now again has the last rock. They have the hammer here in three, playing the Yellowstone. Well, just in case you're wondering, it was this morning when Alberta played Nova Scotia that a similar start occurred. Nova Scotia stole two in the first and won again in the second before Alberta got on the board and stole a couple Heal themselves, out. got in the game, right eventually losing in the last end, um, an 8-7 score. Yeah, but you're talking about there. Jennifer Jones, and this is quite an ability this team has, as we saw this afternoon, to keep a lead and defend it. One of the reasons this curler in the hack right here with a big lead, uh, definitely the upweight ability. Saw so yes, at least three doubles really this afternoon. So there's the mistake that you need, the one in the house situated in front of a couple of others and a miss by Jill as far as a nose hit goes. Go after it. Room to move things around. She seems to slide it. in that spot, she seems to slide a little thin on the to the broom on the outturn side and the only real mistakes I've seen is either the that outturn either hitting it dead on 
or over on the other side hitting it a little bit uh, on the intern side same spot a little wide so it's almost like she's squaring up left at the target. There's no lack of power, that's for darn sure. No, that's right. Ronwin Webster throwing the second stones for the Alberta champions out of the Calgary Winter Club. Not great. You'd love to have that yeah, yellow shooter on top of the reds, and, and they punch roll. the back mind. yellow too far, so it is exposed on the intern side. I don't mind just the nose. Or roll on top. Okay. Throw here. And half. You got it. Going to, and then we're, we're good. Sit. That's pretty good. Well, at least a little pocket. It certainly does, and uh, the okay, red so ones really have no value either at the top. So, not the best hit for Team Canada, and a little opportunity now for Bronco Webster. talking about the fact oh, that the redstones had uh, been struggling yep, no, with yep, draw yep. weight as far as the average over the course of round robin play <coughs> seems like shot after shot for the yellow were coming up short that goes right on here i'm almost thinking we want to go here i like that yeah that's true i think, I think you want to be frozen okay i think speed wise I'm going to say not quite. We haven't really yeah. played down this. Aggressive uh, nature of Team through. Canada again uh, to defend uh, with a four point lead. They're going to go on the offense. They could hit the back yellow, but that still leaves this red pocket. So this shot by Caitlin will take away that red pocket. Line's good. Hard line. Line's good. It's it's cool. Cool. Hard line. Wait, oh. There it goes. Hard! Really hard! Wow. That's fine, Caitlin. My fault. That's good. Just a little rub roll. Now they're sitting three. Doesn't hurt them at all. It hit it thin enough that it got stayed to the inside. If that rolls to the left side of our screen, it creates a big wall. But because it's on the inside, it's difficult to remove. Can't really go that way to lose that one. <laughs> It does cause Alberta to have to move something around. They're going to play it with normal hit. That is not a good shot. You had to save the shooter there. You're four points down. And, uh, moving Ten the reds around is one thing, but you have to keep some uh, yellow in play. That's right. <clears throat> She's freezing right now. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Okay. I think we have to go in tight. Okay. Do you like that? I feel like they are right around again. Yeah, Frozen's good. That'll go right on there. Well, this looks familiar, Frozen. Kathy. British Columbia and Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan looking to blank here. Well, it is. It's a bit of a deja vu. In the first end, wide open was a blank attempt by Saskatchewan. They stuck. Have a chance to do the same here in three. This time, though, we'll make it. Oh, Boyd bumping off the uh, redstone and maybe coming back in. Blank, 1-1. It stays. Must win for BC. 
Caitlin Laws. Line's tighter. Once in a while in a game, even though it's this early, you can sense a chance to really put this thing away. And if, instead of pounding away, trying to stop Saskat or Alberta into scoring two points here or one point, they have a chance to really close this end off. Whoa. No, no, no. It's got a curl. Shoot. Tough one, Caitlin. Didn't swoop as hard. Played about the same way. Shoot. Okay, Caitlin. Caitlin saying that second rock didn't finish like the first one, so that could be the first indication of a, a straighter rock. Yep. Whoa. Oh, yes. Yes. Hard. Hard. This is a chance. You may not have another oh, with yes. that collection in the house. Oh, Carolyn oh. Webster. Oh. Amy Nixon's going to move one, two, and then roll, and roll just a little too far. Shot still. Still the red. Back eight just nibbling at the edge of the forefoot. Got the little roll, got the little jump from the skipper. Doesn't <laughs> show it ever. No, not at all. That was 8-1. Good job. No. We're still shot, but I think we got to hit this. Try to roll right on top. She just has to tap it two inches, really. I think like an eight and a half, nine, I'd like to roll quite flat. She's throwing more weight to hit more of the rock to go more sideways as opposed to at an angle. Jump it over. Yeah. Oh, oh, it'll good. roll yes. in to yes. sit T-line button. Now it has popped out and it has actually moved the other red stone, but I believe they are too? sitting one, two, Team Canada. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Caitlin, that <laughs> looked so perfect, didn't it? It's them by like a quarter inch, I think. Yeah. You can't do anything mm -hmm. there, can you? Well, I was looking, you can. Like, can you? Coming right on it, yeah. Can you throw, like, and then roll in front of it? Roll in front, yeah. yeah. That's what I, I think it has to be more than board. I think it has to be, like... You Pretty complicated one here. But to hit half of this yellow, the yellow red a yellow combo, the second yellow at the one o'clock position at the top of the four, should direct back towards the shot rock. It's going to need a bit of speed, but it should wiggle it around, move it back behind the T line. I think ten. I'm thinking ten. Yeah. Yeah. The soft weight hit here. You should be able to save the shooter, and there will be three Alberta stones in the ring. Chunk of that with this weight. Well, they do get the red stone out from in between. It just tracked super bad. Like, it, if so anything, it would, this one's not quite biting red. I think it's them now. Do you? I think it's us. Certainly, uh, Alberta. Shannon Clybring thought it was one two for Close. Team Canada. Got that towards it because I didn't yeah. want it to float. Yeah. It wasn't out, was it? How much air, Don? Like a good chunk of air. Could you get to half? Oh yeah. She has that. The concern is how they can use that, that red one. one. Hit weight, but yeah. Or we guard it. What do you guys like? Come take a look and see who's second shot. I, I don't, think they just are. Them. I don't think it makes any sense to go after that uh, red one because it's tough to roll inside. I think you just guard the shot rock. They're worried about who's second. 
touch real close. She touched it. Mm. I'd say yellow. Okay. I think. Wait, like, close. I think Caitlin it's thinks they're second That's shot. What I said oh, yeah. You really think she can make that flat double well, off that it's rock? Hard, but I think it's there. Oh, I don't think so, Dawn. You no, know, for Alberta to get back in this game, they're going to have to generate the twos, the deuces, and that's been a trouble so far, and that's where the difference shows up between these two teams. It is Jennifer Jones that has shown an ability to make the big shots and to get those deuces, and already you can see this situation. For Shannon Clybrink, she's been very good at forcing the opposition to take only one, 47% of the time without hammer, but with hammer, she's only gotten deuces 32% of the time compared to Jennifer Jones, 44%. And the reason I put in the ends plate, Alberta's played a lot more ends. That doesn't show up in many well, of the other sure stats. Kind of Total points me, scored no. looks similar, but you have to look at how many ends they played with Sorry. and without it's hammer and how they've generated those points. Back. Already look at the scoreboard. Right away, Canada played the corner guard in the first end, got their deuce, got the steal last end, of course, too. But this is the kind of play we've seen from these two teams and the concern with Alberta getting back in this game. Well, that's actually a full game, more than a full game less that right. they played. So uh, wear and tear is a little less for Team Canada as well. And when you get a chance like this, that is important. That's been a long week. They'd love to choke this off and steal a point or two. Coming off the second where Team Canada stole two. After Alberta and Shannon Clybrink were was light with her last draw. Tough draw here. They have to over curl past the guard, and you actually have to tap that a little bit unless you freeze solid to the corner of the pinhole. And you can see how it's over buried. And uh, you guys think for weight, it's a dead draw to the pin. We won't have any of the 55, 60, yeah, 55. Okay. <coughs> when we get back to the spin, uh, somebody like Susan uh, Burt would have a heck of a time getting enough curl in here because a uh, big rotation but uh, Shannon should be able to make it curl maximum with a little slower rotation it's a must win for Alberta and down four nothing as we play here in three this is a must you would think must have draw for a single point and nothing yet from Chelsea Bell on the left or Bronwyn Webster on the right this is all on its own and it's just going to go sailing so that's one for sure for team canada another steal of one and they'll likely go for the measure i would think around the edge of the four wasn't even close on her draw weight that happened this morning too Vic, sure just, too. just struggling with draw weight i timed at 13 and a half hog to hog and for those that may not know stopwatches that's a lot of difference when we talk almost 15 seconds in some of the fast spots that's a lot more kick from the half gonna get the pin anyway she's like higher than the pin and kind of touching it and i had to dead draw the own like the Silent. pin hole <laughs> you almost, went across. It's it's almost had to have a little extra weight and just okay it's two maybe yeah it is for sure well, it's interesting difference of an opinion here by the two teams and to see who is second shot. All right, right there we saw that. That's the Alberta Stone. Now watch the micrometer here. Oh no, it is. It is Alberta that is second shot. So it is just one for Team Canada. And they now take a 5 nothing lead. Yeah, try that side of the seat. I think it should be pretty close. Yeah. That's where they do their draw to them. I know it's your favorite time, Linda. It's time <laughs> for our Scotty's Trivia. Now, what's the most games ever played by one team at a Scotty's tournament? So you have 30 years to think about it. What year is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is year 30. We're not done yet. But Alberta, oh my, are they done in a must win. Down five after giving up another steal of one. Once again, Alberta does have the last rock playing the Yellowstones as we pick up play here in four. But you know, that's not uncommon. We saw her with her. 
in the previous end come up light. Shannon Clybrink I'm referring to with a draw. Now she overthrows the draw. She just has no touch. No, and but did you hear her little comment when we listened in like we normally do, talking about how maybe she had to rub and roll off mm -hmm. and maybe it needed a tiny bit more weight? I tell you, we're already talking about the mental skills of the game to handle the pressure. If you get into a hack with anything other than the exact thought of locking in the weight out to the broom, you're not going to throw it correctly. Well, in that case, too, Linda, it was over, buried by a bunch, so a little more weight than draw weight suicide because it just is never going to get to the nose. So Shannon Clybrick needs to take a page out of Jennifer Jones' playbook. Jennifer Jones so good at getting those juices, multiple scores. And put up the corner guards, which she has just done. The only problem in the whole scenario is you now have a Jennifer Jones team that doesn't need to put rocks in play and has the ability to move rocks out of play. Jill missed one last end, but she's yes. not going to miss too many more. And uh, Dawn's two rocks are in the perfect position, so it's going to be a tough end for Clybrick. She hit that pretty flush and still with all that weight is able to hit the bumper. Do that okay? Yeah, I just jumped. I'll give you a little bit more. Yeah, okay. You just tap it back a little. Are you suggesting that not that they may be able to run them here? That doesn't that really happens anymore. But do you think that they'll try and just go totally defensive, Team Canada? I think similar to this afternoon where they got a little bit of a lead and ran. Vic, it's not totally defensive because they do put their leads rocks into play. Totally defensive, I guess, would actually be throwing rocks through. Right. Okay. But as soon as they can, as soon as the situation looks pretty on their side, they will peel rocks out. Try and maintain the position in this case in the middle of the house and put the pressure on Shannon to get two in there. But they're a smart team, Vic. We saw that last end. Uh, they, they were trying to hit last end and run it out a little bit. As soon as... Uh, Jill nosed a uh, corner guard. There became uh, quite a few rocks in play. They turned back to the offense, put a little more pressure with a miss out of uh, the five rank rank, uh, guarded it, stole another point. That's something they don't teach, I find, with some of the clinics. You get the, you get the, okay, we have to score two here, and this is the way it's going to be, or no, we're up four nothing, we're going to hit and everything in sight. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to change that plan midstream. It's why I often refer to surveying the situation, and it's that survey point and then the bailout or continue on plan point that I think a lot of people get confused with. What does it look like? Is it still looking the way I want it to do? If I took a snapshot right now, is that where the rock should be? If yes, good, I'll keep going. If no, I have to be flexible. Same line. Well, it's been pretty conservative so far. Saskatchewan, BC, tied at one as we play the final stone here in the fourth. But boy, Saskatchewan and Amber Holland, this is a big chance for them, Kathy. Yep. Huge points. It has been all Saskatchewan on Amber's foot. She actually tipped a BC shot into the ring. This is the shot she's trying to remove now. She's got to come through the hole. Did out the back and count them up. Four for Saskatchewan and a 5-1 lead in a game similar to our featured match, Alberta. BC must win to remain in the playoffs. That little comment, I don't know. Tells Does this have that say a lot? Tells you volumes, Vic. Yeah, you know, I've already said about pressure and how that changes your thinking. Yeah. You go from a clear thinking skip to someone that feels a little muddled. Obviously, that's reflected Where? in today. Yeah, Shannon is really struggling with the ice. 
And again, I think a part of it, they haven't played as much at B, A, B, a little bit less rotation on Shannon shots than the rest of the team. So she tends to take that extra inch or two. And that visibly that doesn't work for the rest of the team because they know they're going to run that little bit straighter. These rocks are so aggressive. These running bands or edges are so aggressive. There's a big difference when you slow that rotation down. Even if you tap, go there. But there, that one was light. Amy asking for less ice. You've got to throw the weight to match that ice. It was supposed to be a tap back and roll, and now the rock is sitting too high in the house and did not move shot rock. And they've drawn, the Canada's drawn play into the rings. Yes, there's two yellow in there, but everything's simple. Right okay, on okay. the beak. That rock throws more too. <laughs> oh, it was right, a yeah. curious yeah. thing. You pointed it out. Uh, into how we watch this Team Canada year after year. They somehow have yeah. that extra I gear. I thought you were a bit tight. And then I thought maybe you uh, Put it into oh, drive when like the, they're sniffing the playoffs. You know, it's something that's hard to do, actually. Yeah, if you coast yeah, too yeah, much yeah, at the beginning yeah, of round yeah, robin yeah. play, you're not going to be getting any sniff of the playoffs. But somehow they know okay, when to turn it on. And definitely yeah. the momentum late week yeah. is yeah. evident yeah. in Jennifer Jones. And back to what Vic said, too. I think some teams uh, slide back with their performance as, a, as the collar gets a little tighter at the end of the weekend. And uh, that combination has uh, is worked very well in the last three and a half years. Stay on this side of this yeah, thing. Eight. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh no. Go, 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 go. Right. Okay. Little. Over on sheet B, it appears from our vantage point here, Kathy Ontario is sitting two in a 1 1 tie against Quebec. Marie France LaRouche is the draw all she has. It really is. On her final stone, Rachel Holman made that great shot. You see that at the back of the forefoot, it is a draw against two, needs full four of it. Marie France LaRouche. Very nice. She puts it right on the pin for the single point. And a 2 1 lead for Quebec. Ontario coming in at three losses, trying to avoid dropping to four, which might put them into a tie break situation. If they can stay at three losses, they could, in fact, be second or third. Well, I just want to save the seven. Yeah. And I'm afraid, like, it's so, yeah, you know, like yeah. Caitlin said, throw board weight, but I'm not sure with board what it's going to do. Fine, yeah. So I'd rather throw it hard. But I'm thinking, do we want to, I'm not thinking we want to roll off, roll out. Because then I should have a double. And you should have something to run in instead. Yeah, like I'm thinking if we roll here, yeah. and then she hits and rolls under. Oh, she's still got to move this one. Yeah, maybe we hit her over. Okay. Just a 10. They're a little worried about jamming that one, and there's tons of room there. You can throw a lot of weight even if you roll thick. You're, you're not going to go across the top of the second mm. yellow, but they decided to play the easy one first. What do you like? Not I a like bad idea. Roll. It shrinks that scoring area. You're going to, Shannon Clybrink's going to have to make to a move in that, that shot one, rock. But I want to make sure we don't hit that back one. Yeah. Once, once yeah, she does, sorry, Linda, once she does, she's going to set up a double. Yeah, that was Jennifer's <clears throat> little comment. And try to think through it, and that was a good little video we showed you of somebody thinking through all the rock positions, touching their broom, thinking through what might happen and then coming up with the result they want. Skip stones here in the fourth. Team Canada. No, no. Jennifer Jones. Alberta does have the last rock. Yeah, this track the whole way. Nice weight. Thought it would come up a little more. Yeah. Should have a double. It's not going to be in the way, at least. No, eight. I mean, two's okay. Oh, yeah. The best thing is, can't get under it since she's going to be looking at it. What if you. Yeah. It's not awful. And I guess even if it, like, kind of hits that. Freeze again, but then we're never going to get our third one in play, right? Anyways, pretty good. Yeah, she's going to guard, and then we have to 
guess. What if we split it, Chels? <clears throat> we split far enough. You might have a use. The problem is your way at it is this rock, right? And if you split it, it's going to be in the way. Right to it's not awful if we stay on this side, hey? Chelsea's right. I mean, even if you came here for some fucking yeah. reason. Edge of the... You don't want to throw that, edge eh? Edge of the eight. I don't even know. Not really. You got to come across the face of that. You almost got to bump the... Here? You don't have to go for shot rock at this point. Putting one in roughly in that location, it's very yeah. difficult to remove it through this area that. because of the... Yeah. Yeah, it these two rocks, so there, it's it's probably a safe chance that Jennifer's going to have to either blast and give you a really easy shot for two, or she'll have to play an aggressive tap on the uh, outturn side on the rock she just threw. Looked like you left that stone out in the rain. It shrunk on you. A little bit, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the humidity in here. It's worried about the blizzard coming. She throws the rock ice through. They can get it through that hole. That's right. <laughs> that would be an easy Shannon pick. Shannon Clivering. I thought I heard them say something Disney. about trying to generate a third Close. point by the rock position. I, I don't see that. Well, right. I think they're saying if they freeze like I suggested, yeah. then they play the raise. The third rock won't be close enough. But I, I think three is a little bit I optimistic. I was optimistic. <laughs> Would have been great if it hadn't jiggled the red one a little bit. The lineup is fantastic. They just moved that red one, and there is a chance to move that top yellow. On its own, that was back for it. Yeah, probably yeah, back. Yeah. Didn't get to center like Amy's really. <coughs> still tough. Two. Pick her own. Yeah, I think we guard you. We guard. That's the only way she can get three. Well, how do you get three anyways? Yeah. Off this one maybe, but I don't. That's really hard. I say guard. This will scoop hard on this side, yeah. Yeah, Do you like coming the other way? I just don't know how to cut the center line. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I think I'll just make sure I throw it a little bit straight. Okay. We also have to keep our eye on the clocks. As uh, Linda mentioned earlier today, Alberta used up almost their, their entire third, but time I don't know how she gets three. in their morning yeah, game. I do, it four. do you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I know they've been using up a lot of their yeah, game tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. But I think you Alberta beating really Nova Scotia, or rather yeah, losing to Nova Scotia 8-7. Okay. In fact, Nova Scotia was all out of time as well when yeah. they went to throw their last stone. And it's hard for Alberta. You already fall behind. We say draws take a lot more time to play than hits, and they're into the draw game now. Not even trying to pick it out, just saying that two's the most they're going to get, so oh, make it harder to get that deuce Wait by only, Gilly. With Keep a perfectly thrown guard, uh, the deuce really is hard, tough. Really you have to run a red one in there and chip that rock off the button. Let's get over curl because there's curl. way too much weight here. Can you take off? Oh, wait. Jennifer would like that one back. Sorry, guys. It's okay. I had to sweep it early, I think. Yeah. I know it was heavy. Just... I think we almost had to put the thing off the ass. I don't think it's going to curl a ton. It's going to curl a bit, like more than down there. How much, Shan? Nine? Yeah. Is this a tap for two, or do you think they can get a squeeze a third one out of there? Oh, I think they better not try for three. <laughs> they, I, I can't see it, Vic. You'd have to you'd have to almost miss that yellow, hit the inside of the red by Amy's broom, and try to roll in a bit. And therefore, you'd hit the yellow so thin, I don't think it would go anywhere because they have to move, you know, 120 pounds of granite there. I think it's just to hit it on the high side, try to stick both yellows for two. A double bump. <laughs> To remove the shot stone off right the off. button. A chance for two for Alberta. Close. Again, Bell and Webster yeah. have been taken right out of it. Yeah. They've been taken right out of it. But they will get the deuce. She threw it there all on her own. Shannon Clybrink. Alberta must win. And they're finally on the board.
It's the final night of round robin play here are the Scotties in Charlottetown. Must wins for Alberta and BC if they hope to be in a tiebreaker. Remember our trivia question? What's the most games ever played by one team in a Scotties tournament? Well, I know it's not you because you are, aren't you still the only team to go undefeated? That's correct. Yeah, so we know that that's it's not been the more. The answer, Jen Hanna played 16 games in 2005. That's a lot of curling. Scotty's Trivia is brought to you by Scotty's, proud supporter of women's line, curling for, yes, 30 years. So here we go to the fifth, 5-2 Team Canada. All right, Linda, you said earlier about, you know, Canada's maybe defensive mode. Now do they switch gears and go back into some kind of offense here? Yeah, it's the fifth end, so this is where you have to figure out if you're Alberta, how to manage this, and if you're Jennifer Jones, how you're going to now try and keep that lead and not go crazy with defense. So it'll be interesting because it's early enough in the game for both teams to stay with a certain mode. Shannon a little bit more defensive and Team Canada a little more offensive. And here we go, Russ. This is the situation we were talking about earlier today. I Maybe rather than trying to angle one and freeze you another one wide. into those two we down at the eight really foot, are, you try and chip the center, open them up, get Power, a couple of guards, really are, and as you say, guys. increase really the are. scoring area. Exactly, oh, Vic. It's your down. three Keep point going. lead. You have the hammer. Wrecking on that guard's not a sin. You open it up. If you were playing. The old style curling, you'd hit that in a heartbeat. So under the rules, you can only move it. You can't remove it. But get that out of the way. Even if it slides by, you jiggle around the shot rock and the second shot, and you'll probably stay right on top of it and you'd have a chance to remove that yellow. But the rock that's going to hurt Jennifer Jones, potentially, is that center guard. So for Shannon, she knows that. And she knows that Jennifer Jones will probably rip that guard. So now when you're planning your shot for your second, Bronwyn Webster, you have to think about rock positioning because once it's opened up, the house looks different. When it's that guard out in front, you're thinking, okay, my yellow one's behind cover. Everything seems fine. That guard gets ripped, and you have to think about these angles. This is a key end for Alberta, though, because if they can force the single, something that's been hard to do with Jennifer Jones, it's a whole different game. 15-2. Didn't quite get the angle he wanted there. Well, let's check in on BC and Kelly Scott, two-time Canadian champion. Whoa, one, two, three, four. Facing four Saskatchewan Stones, Kathy. Well, in some ways, those stones are there because Kelly's tried to force this in, tried to find a way to freeze, but it has been struggles with draw weight from her whole team, and she needs to find draw weight now, Vic. You betcha. Gina Schrader out as well. This could be the, the ball game here. And no, oh, nice job to get it to the eight foot for the single. Interesting, isn't it? Draw weight problems there for Kelly Scott. Then they might all Draw be weight gone. problems okay, for Alberta guard, Shan. and yeah. Shannon Clybring. Over to sheet B, Ontario trying to avoid falling back into a possible tie break and Rachel Holman's facing three with her last, Kathy. She is indeed for Marie France Laduche and her team. They may be mathematically out of this, but they are playing very well tonight, giving all Ontario can handle with needs full forefoot. Piece of the button for the point. Ontario knows that if they can win, if Team Canada should lose, Ontario could finish in second place. From the Ottawa Curling Club, Rachel Holman will get the single to tie it going to the break. Meanwhile, Prince Edward Island, Suzanne Burt, look at the steal of three. And so they're up on Newfoundland and Labrador, five oh, to one. Oh, no, 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 uh-oh. Oof. Okay. Whoa. There was an uh-oh. There certainly was an uh-oh. 
Once you've let go of that stone with that weight, it is not coming back if you're full of the brooms. Two missed peels so far for uh, Jill. The worst part is it uh, cleaned out everything they had. Uh, two opponents' rocks in there, and still the front's congested. Very nice situation in the top 12 and in front of the house. Rocks you can draw around, rocks you can tap up. Like this? I do. I guess early <clears throat> enough, I guess, if we talk about thirds first. They're trying to run it into the house and remove something else, but I think the way Jennifer plays, she needs a little room to get at that forefoot. That's the rock we said could hurt her, so getting rid of it makes a ton of sense. There's a bonus oh! of getting at least one yellow one off the oh! corner, and oh, it no. also opens up your red at the top of the 12th okay, that you can use that's later. Good. And she'll get rid of the long guard. Forces Alberta to guard the only rock that's really dangerous. Uh, Jennifer should be able to outdraw the other two. The only one they're going to have trouble with at this point in time is the one in the center line. If we go, we're in. Well, it's a guard and it's in the right line, but very close, and that means a lot of things can be removed. Three quarters. Much simpler for Caitlin this time. That's way deep. Uh, the uh, the end. Uh, Alberta gave a four up earlier this week uh, by sliding a guard. Amy slid a guard in the ring, set up a double, and uh, Saskatchewan went on to score a four. And uh, they're so uh, underrated yeah! those guards. <clears throat> oh, as soon as she let it go, yeah! Caitlin Laws caught it, run it back, oh, gonna yeah. jam it, and the shooter stays right there. Alberta, without last rock, is sitting three. I guess if you look at the bright side, if you're Don Askin and Team Canada, you did bounce the rock away from the forefoot, and that means the right-hand side of the sheet is available to reach the forefoot if Jennifer needs it. And they have opened up no, that red uh, center that they can raise in. Not that they'd like to raise it in against four, but it's there. Yeah. Got to make sure we score here somehow. Yeah. It's not like it feels ridiculously keen or anything. No, no. It's just sliding. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's go, Shan, right up. You just put your broom in front of the rock. I can't see your broom. It's blending with the yellow. Here we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go, Shan. Wait, close. Really good. Tapping the seven. Close. Yep. Yep. Oh, not curling. Tapping the seven. Whoa. Good looking no, shot here, yeah. but it's not too deep. Whoa. And it will slip. Center line back of the four. I think I got a Good try, Sean. That's fine. Do you like that? I do. Like there? 
Besides curling more, but... Those early steals give Team Canada a bit of an edge. So you know what Jennifer wants to do. She wants to move something in there, open up a bit of space, maybe get second shot on this, if nothing else, and it. give her a yeah. chance on her yeah. last one to get in there. Second Just shot would be wonderful. Tap and it off, <coughs> Cut all those rocks out of there. Okay, cool. Sorry, Thelia. Back eight, wait. Okay. You want to tap it behind the red one? I think so. Okay. She's going to come around, but... At least I should have a draw of some some okay. sort. Okay, let's, go, let's go. Speed okay on this side? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Wait. Thanks. Yep. Jennifer Jones and her Fire. first. Officer trying to hold the line now as they try to bump that stone sitting out in front just off the center line. Get to the nose and tap it back. Tap it back, and it is a honey right to the button to sit one. Beautiful yeah, curling shot, uh, Linda, and actually angles Sorry, it in with area. Unless totally there's a hole yeah. through the middle, it angles it and leaves the uh, the one yeah. yellow rays is uh, it's kind of lined up that you can't get the red one out. I think there might be a hole through the middle though. Yeah, there definitely is a little port through the two red rocks. It really took away this shot here because it's it's difficult to remove it from that angle, but there is a small hole here and through the hole makes it for sure. You'll like lose 10? your shooter, okay. but it'll still be a draw against four. <laughs> that was a tough one for Team Canada because I think they were calling out how heavy it was, and it really took a lot of the speed off as it came across the hog line. They could have left it a little longer, and it would have been dead in front of that yellow. It was dead perfectly, let it curl. This is not simple, though. Some of these attract on Shannon a little bit. Whoa. Final Whoa. stone for Alberta. Yeah. Now, here they go. Oh! Bell oh! Webster looking for the hole. Got to get off the stone. Find the hole. Find the hole. Find the hole. They did push it out. They do. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five is what Team Canada will face for their last one. Presence of mind to throw soft weight. She kept it down. Some of those that hung on her and she's crashed a few times. That was nice and soft. Gave it to the sweepers. Just allowed it to come up at the end. Oh, oh. Look at that. And look at with that weight where the rock rolls to. It hardly rolls at all. It's unbelievable. I thought that would roll out for sure, but you just took a little weight off of that. That was a tough hole. You can't follow that hole down. You wreck, you give up a bundle, so you have to play that exact same shot I think against I don't, five. I don't think we go through that hole, do you guys? Even if we just give up two. Same weight. Let this is the same as last yeah, one. They were really yeah. just trying to get something into the eight foot and cut it down. That's all you can be thinking on this. I think you could sweep this early, you guys. Even if they give up two, oh. suddenly there's smiles on the faces of Shannon Clyburn. Could be worse. <laughs> Amy Nixon, they know Stop that a five. steal here going to the break will put them right back into it. Facing five, up five to two. Final yes. rock. Oh, hard. Whoa. Whoa. The wait now. Yeah. They know it will eventually yeah. break. Called off by Whoa. Caitlin Laws. Whoa. Facing five. No, no. Looks no. Got a pin. Go, got to bump it up. Go. Bump it up. Whoa. Oh, yeah. yes, oh, you bet. Great shot. <laughs> Facing five. And for the second straight oh, stone, he bumps it to the <laughs> button. The three-time defending champion takes a deep breath and a high five. 6-2. Going to the break. Yeah. I thought I was light, Caitlin. That's why I was sleeping. When we come back, we will talk yeah. with Caitlin Laws and we'll hear from Bob Weeks, the Weeks Report. Oh, she didn't do it once. She did it twice. Uh, this, for all intents and purposes, keeps it at a four-point lead. It could have been tied. And it started with a mistake by Jill Officer jamming rocks around in the house. If that happens, you have to get them out of trouble as a skip. That's what the skipper's paid to do. And uh, 
If you can't draw in this sport, you can't win. And uh, Jennifer's done a lot of winning, and there's a great example of it. Wow, the key shot brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. Six to two. Team Canada leading as we play in the sixth. Lead Stones. And uh, Alberta will have the last rock, does have the half, last rock, playing the Yellowstone. Well, we talk oh, about can, trying to defend oh, a lead, and many teams approach it differently. Team Canada, as long as it's this early in the game, That's does good. not change. First one in top four, corner guard by the opponent. They come back to the middle, not a guard, but another one in the house for Team Canada. Second corner guard because of the four-point deficit played by Alberta. And now the cleanup by Joe Officer. Although there's been a couple of cleanup mistakes. And the last one, of course, almost was very costly for Jennifer Jones. Yeah, Jill was uh, through one rock for the uh, Alberta team last time to try to make it back here with a Close. thick Whoa. half rock double. That's fine. That's good enough. Gotta go. Good. Ooh. Look at Don's shots again. You just you, we tend to forget about them, but they're they're absolutely perfect. You, I can't think of a better spot for that first rock, and because of the score, that's the exact perfect spot for the second one. There's separation so that if you tap, they're not frozen. They're not too far apart so that um, Alberta can sneak in around the front one. And they're right on the center one. Just be there. <clears throat> Just even. Line's good. Probably deeper. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. You move those two red rocks. We've seen some of the teams that aren't going to qualify. That first one slides behind the T line. The second one's a foot short of the rings. Now there's all this space to come in. You've got backing. It's going to be difficult for Clybrink to actually score some points because of those first two shots. This is the spot we had a nose hit here. Slid a little tight. So let's look back quickly and check the numbers after five. Well, as to be expected, the numbers for Team Canada are quite good in the category we talked about before the game, and that's the draw, 84%. And the mistakes by Alberta have been on the draws. They're down at 77. Also predictable that Alberta's hits have been quite good in Canada. Remember the missed kills we talked about lower on the hit side. But it's those draws. That's really what gets you going. That's what scores points, and that's where Alberta has suffered in the first yeah, time. Nine. Absolutely. Giving up a steal nine. of two in the second yeah, and one more in the out. third. He's a curl. Close. Shannon Clybrink light nine. and then heavy. Close. I'm not tapping it very well. No, not, not, not at all. Okay. What was that? 13. Now for the new skips out there, here's a really good call. You take the guard off. Alberta has to come into the rings eventually. They have to get at those two perfectly thrown red rocks. And that will probably, most probably, set up a yellow double. If you leave this corner, they duck around it, it's going to be dead buried. The end that Alberta got the deuce in the fourth. Yeah. Whoa, rocks whoa, ended up in a pretty good spot for Alberta, and there was a mistake on a guard. Yeah. That is how they got the deuce, but it is tough to do when you play it in the rings. It's been a while since we've checked in on Saskatchewan and BC, and uh, BC is sitting the one. The only one I can see from our vantage point. Final stone, Amber Holland from Chrono, Saskatchewan, Kathy. Well, there is only one in the house. BC got one in early, and Kelly Scott and her team effectively blocking the way, trying to run one of the stones back and pick it off. And will not. So that's a steal of one for BC. Again, we mentioned this is a must win for British Columbia and the two time champion, Kelly Scott. As it is, must win for Alberta. Oh, great throw. There's definitely a yellow double, but because the reds have been jiggled around, there's a big enough wall that that middle yeah, yellow one should jam. One. Okay. First. And 
the red wall will come into effect for the next play as well. This is just a single peel on the top stone for Caitlin Laws. Played in and by both teams, Linda. All the peels made. Both reds were made. A nice tap to set up a bit of a wall. And if Amy can tap this on a slight angle in between the two reds, it will not be able to be removed. Well, this is a beauty. Don't tap it too far. Great nice shot. I don't mind the roll. Make her run it in there at least, right? I think so. I'll okay. try and get one of ours to stay around. Ten. Okay, you got it. Shannon trying to figure out a way to get at least two in this end. And that's why that little collection in the forefoot is so effective for her. her. Yeah, I think we do, right to be honest. You gotta try, don't you think? I think so. She's gonna guard. Or maybe her guard would overthrow. Already planning the next one. So Jennifer's trying to take away the opportunity by getting a little roll in front of the yellow that is in the top four. Jennifer Jones, first off. skip stone here in the six. Right off. No. Yeah, right out, right out. Oh, right out. And right out they will go. Just really straight yeah, there. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. I should have a quiet if I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quite a bit more ice. This could be a big point in the game. I don't think Alberta can afford to tap that, Linda. You tap it enough that there's space for the yellow to be cleared through. The top yellow will go out too, and there'll be an easy double. So I think they have to just freeze to the face of this, and then Jennifer will have a choice. Do I guard? <laughs> and that's what Shannon thought she would do. That was a little plotting behind the house we heard. But this is the little risk you have to take. Getting a like rock in a position to get a multiple score down already okay. by now the four points. It, <laughs> Scoreboard's <laughs> dictating this play. Stick that. At least make one of them go away. The last. Yeah, I'll be tapping a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Only if you have to. Well, Mine will be good. Straight there. It curled, yeah. but it was just keener there. What was that? Quickly update you on the other scores. Ontario trying to avoid a tiebreaker. Still tied 2 2 with Quebec playing the seventh. And PEI has given up a steal of two to Newfoundland and Labrador. Stacy Devereaux from the Valley the Haley as they play okay. in the eighth. So that if she knows is that one to make the double, she won't be second. Yeah, yeah this I want is to make a the triple. A big mistake by Shannon to have that roll, roll, <laughs> rock one, roll sure off. If you walk. happen to stay somewhere in front of the other yellow, one, yeah, you're still setting up a potential of using that yellow. Yeah. Now it's going to work against you. Same way. This is off the line a bit. It's a curl a bit more. Okay. Well, we should just, just can't we find that draw weight. Jennifer Jones in her last. Oh, 
And she'll get that little bit of a roll towards center line. I don't know if you can you bang it right on the nose. Yeah, might need that little bit of a roll across the top to get the deuce. Yeah, you're right, Vic. Dead on probably does not get second shot. So you have to actually get a little bit on the center line side, almost exactly on the center line. This thrown hard enough will eliminate both these, and you just have to roll over here and catch that catcher. Let's go, Shan. Let's go, Shan, like you can. When you look at the stats, you expect this kind of shot to be made by Shannon Carver. Looking for the deuce final rock here in six. Shannon Clybrink and again taking the brushers, Webster and Bell right out of it. All on its own and moves them and now have a look. And you know what? I think she may have gotten it. Yeah, I think it bounced forward an inch or so in contact and that uh, should be enough. It is. Caitlin Laws agrees two for Alberta here in six. They're not done yet. Let's quickly go over to she day and update what's happening with uh, Saskatchewan and BC and wow that looks pretty nice for BC Kathy final rock coming up from Amber Holland well for team Saskatchewan have left a lot of rocks around and it is getting them in trouble pressure all on Amber this end she's trying to run her sideways probably concede one but minimize the damage and that's exactly what she'll do another steal of one Back-to-back -back ends with steals, and it's a one-point game there. So BC in a must-win, down by one. Alberta in a must-win, down by two. As we welcome you back to Charlottetown on this Thursday night, final evening of round-robin play. And Team Canada looking to lock up second place with a win. They have the hammer, the last rock, here in the seventh playing the Redstones. And it is a redstone that is the first one played into the rings around the center guard played by Alberta. An impressive couple of ends where Shannon Clybrink has generated the extra points by rocks in the rings, in particular the last end where they had a beautiful series of rocks. But now you have Jennifer Jones looking for her score. So it'll have to be some nice shots played by Alberta to limit the damage this end. And another beauty by Dawn. I'm sure she carries it down during the commercial <laughs> and just sticks it there. When... That's what it looks like. Top eight, top line's four. Good. There are more guys. A little tight. Hard line. Line only. Whoa. Deliver that go, yellow go, one. Go, go. Not quite. Okay. Hmm. Okay. She was right. What's that? She's right. Maybe not more. Well, Don Human. <laughs> yeah, she sure has probed well. <laughs> Chelsea Bell. Oh! And it'll roll over and sit on the corner. Very nice. Just enough weight to get it through the back. That's the way to throw them. Can I have a hair left? So a very nice start for Alberta to get the rocks in the right spot. And Jill Officer, who has struggled with these peels, has just asked for a little less ice. And I don't blame her. She's been yeah! flying. Turns. Hard! Real hard! Good, good. you're good. good. Shot. Ooh. Nice throw. I like that better. 
So Team Canada the has the opportunity yeah. with a win to claim and take second place in the one-two page playoff. They could though fall to a tie-breaking situation. And that's a massive difference, Vic. Uh, tie-breaking, you've got to win a pile of sudden death games. You Not get into the one-two game, you have two chances to make it to the final. Easily there. Let's be it right to center. Leave it high. It's curling good. The two. You'll get to center and die. We're good. That's good. Nice job, Bronwyn. For Alberta, it's uh, either or. Either they're in or they're out. A win, there's the tiebreak. They lose, and their Scotties is over. It's funny how games go. That's what the beginning of this game looked like. It looked like nerves, all those points given yeah! up to Team Canada. But once you know your backs are against the wall, a Whoa! little bit like Jennifer Jones sometimes does Whoa! in the uh, in the Scotties as oh, well, sorry, trying Jill. to get that second sorry. one. Okay. It seems like you relax a little bit if you're Alberta That's in this true. case, and you just start to throw the way you can, and thus they're creeping back into this game. The last three ends have been outstanding. Uh, two deuces and uh, almost a steal of as many as five. Oh my God. Amy Nixon. One, two, three. Three reds there, Ontario, but the last rock, Kathy, that belongs to Quebec and Marie-France LaRouche. Well, it is, and hats off to Emma Miskew, third for Ontario, who made a great shot early to create this opportunity for her team to score, but there certainly is still an opening, a draw for Marie-France. Needs full eight foot, Vic. From the Etcheman Curling Club, on the south shore of the St. Lawrence across from Quebec City. Uh, did it stop? Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, it did. If you like it, I like the outside. There's the single 3 2 for Quebec. Ontario. But is our goal the force or what is With it? a win, will take third I'm place. Sure go. I don't if they win going. and Canada loses, they'll get second place. I like that. Yeah. Interesting question being like asked of the hack end, and usually when you start an end, you have an idea of the kind of plan you have, and the question is, are we trying to set up a lot of rocks and maybe steal, or are we trying to yeah. force? Because there are a variety of shots you could play for the force. I'm good. Four, five. Sticking with the plan five, of a front five. rock. Come on, guys, you're going to be hard. Come on, guys. Go. Oh, no, they're trying to go by. Yeah, they're going around. Uh, <laughs> They're not going to go around, I don't think. Oh, no, the oh, oh, yes, they are. It. And they'll just touch. The Redstone oh. top four and so rub and roll. They got by one, but not two. That looked like tight ice to me. That's they did why it I ever. assumed yeah, exactly. it was just going to yeah. drop out in front. No, I hear you. Good throw. Just a little rub, throw. almost by. mentioning about Ontario they could be as high as second if they win and Team Canada should lose but they could also fall into that messy tie-breaking situation on Friday which would go with the weather which is supposed to be <laughs> quite messy here in Charlottetown you like that or you like the snap huh? I like this I really but can. gotta roll away a bit if I hit it yeah <laughs> have you told uh, have you 
let Wendy know how to work the snowblower? <laughs> your uh, Moncton, I looked, is expecting uh, 30 to 35 well, that's a, that's centimeters, a, and it's a blizzard warning for the Moncton area. That's uh, that's a golf day for us this winter. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've had a photo. I think it's a little over 11 feet now. Oh, my goodness. But it's raining in D.C. Yeah, isn't that lovely? Yeah! <laughs> take the rain. Channing Pye bringing her first as we play Skip Woo! Stones here yeah! in the seventh. Whoa, whoa, no! Oh, I should have off. Okay, okay. I can't leave it there. She's just going to wrap around everything. Or I just knows it. It's just that then I leave her a double. I think we want to I think we're trying to yeah. roll a little bit. Nine and a half. Hit. Tough spot, I think, for uh, Team Canada here, isn't it? I mean, you can't take away everything. You, you, you might think about guarding. You might, as she said, sit right half, there. Then she's yeah. going to go around. If I roll okay. inside, there's a double. Or 11 3 or no, what I felt like I was down in soft release. Well, you're definitely not guarding, I'll tell you that much, because there's yellow ones to be run in. But it is an interesting situation and continues to be put in place by Shannon Clyburn, who is planning these angles and slowly getting rocks in a good spot. And then, as you say, maybe feeling better about her game. Jennifer Jones. Yeah, big change in yes. numbers uh, between the two, Whoa. though. 90% Jennifer's yeah. out. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Yeah. You could come around everything on the intern side, it'd be a very dangerous shot, but it would be the best way to steal a point. Right, roll out to make, it, to make, to make this double, as you hear Shannon okay. say, she probably rolls out, and then uh, it's either a fairly short double or a draw to the eight foot for the single. So that's what I was referring to when the team about uh, thirds rocks were saying, do we want to force or steal? That's a pretty big decision to make at the start of the end to know if you're going to play guards and come arounds. Or at this stage, try and sit two and hope to force. And here's the try. Nice. The attempt right to force. Right off. Final rock for Close. Alberta. Yep. Team Canada does Whoa. have the hammer. Whoa. Whoa, no, no. It's falling, it's falling. Got to get a lot of this front one. It's going to jam. And it did. And now where will it sit? And it will not go far enough. It will sit for shot stone. And that mistake out, now will allow lot, Canada right? to draw for a second. Way tight and let it just fall back. Yeah, 9 5 2. Yeah, it's not quite the action. We were talking about that this afternoon. Yeah, if Linda, I wheel it uh, right there, that's just games, so, it would have just fallen off. It doesn't seem to get out of the, to the room yeah, uh, this year uh, on the out turn, and, and then you have to play with it. You have to force it back, and then you get less rotate or less, less curl farther down. The break point so much later, and Amy wanted to sweep it, but it just did not move. Now, you referred to it earlier, and, and it's the case of so many teams this year. After the Olympics and going so hard as teams did, they played fewer bond spiels. Alberta, they didn't, if I remember correctly, even travel out of the province to Bonspiel, whereas, you know, leading up to the Olympic trials, they would have gone so hard. So their preparation isn't quite the same, whether that's a legitimate excuse at this point. It's all you guys. I'm not. Sweep it if you can. Practice, though, Vic, practicing that practicing yeah. that delivery, getting out to the stick and not throwing it out in or in out. Draw for two for Jennifer. Oh, yeah. no. It's a gift. After the mistake, you don't want to oh, hand no. it right back. Oh, you don't want to hand it right back. And she will. I'll give you a gift, and I'll give it right back. Missed opportunity for two, but still it's a three-point lead, Team Canada. Well, look at this. You said, Kathy, that uh, BC and Kelly Scott were not uh, giving up in this one, and uh, there they are, sitting one back of the button. What's this for Amber Holland? Well, she doesn't have very much on the first one. She tried to clear the guard. She wound up running it back and making the third shot stone. 
Team BC, she's left all kinds of rocks yes. in play, looking at a oh. long tap onto another tap, just wanting to keep things really quiet so she doesn't make a bigger mess. But there's another point going on the board for BC. To tie it, 5-5. Five, five. Remembering now that British Columbia must win. And in a must win in our game, Team Canada had a chance for two. The draw was heavy, settling for the single. Jennifer Jones leads 7-4 over Alberta. And Shannon Clybrink, who once again has the last rock here in eight, playing the Yellowstone. That was a huge mistake by Jennifer. You got the gift, as you said, Vic. And you look at the scoreboard, if you got in that air, stayed with that four-point lead, then you're really feeling pretty comfortable because of the lack of ends left for Shannon to get her extra points. But it's only three points now, and a deuce here will change things dramatically. Two, one, two, two here, four, and nine, two and ten. You're going to an extra end. Like to there? Yeah, well, whatever, if you like it. I don't, I think maybe this is easier. Okay. Steve. Yeah. During the eight, is that okay? Yeah. Curling now. Oh, I love Moving hard. They talked about wrapping another corner guard around the existing one because it's very long. Oh, and they know that feels will start happening. They would like to have something available as a corner guard in a better spot. But they've decided yeah, yeah, to go to yeah, the other side for the hard, moment. Hard, 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 hard. That's good. good. 16 there. Hard. Hard. Go, 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 It is amazing how solidly those hit and how far they still roll with that weight and rotation. Tap that back here. It all begins March 5th in London, Ontario. The Tim Hortons Briar, our first draw will be 2.30 Eastern time and a reminder that evening at 7 Eastern will be on the air with a one half hour preview of the, the teams competing. The Tim Hortons Briar is our next stop in the season of champions. Rondo and Webster. Looks like a lot. Are you in? The winner of this year's Scotties as Canadian champion will represent the country at the Women's World Curling Championship to be played in Espierre, Denmark. And Espierre is on the uh, west coast of the country. Feeling the tighter guard, the better one to come around. The long yeah, one you can come around and bury, but you may be accessible because of the length of that guard. Yeah. Get it out of there. Get out. Oh, uh, sorry. Here you go. You put a corner box. Still think we gotta move one in back there. It's so high. Okay, it's fine. I think it's abs, okay. It is difficult, isn't it, to, to manufacture yeah. points this way. Well, I know the reasoning, and I know it's keeping rocks in play, and opposition stones can be your friend, <laughs> but uh, it's tough. It is no, tough, and I guess that's why we're crediting Shannon with the two deuces so far, because they have been generated in the rings. 
trying to tap rocks back. That just shows how difficult, though. The ice reading has been a bit tricky for Shannon, and she hit the wrong rock. Oh, yeah. She wanted to bang the top one and pump it back. Caitlin Laws. Yeah! Hard! Okay, you're good. You're good. Oh, sorry. Stop, it's even. Running out of rocks to uh, use the, utilize the corner guard, and the guard's so long, they might have to try to generate by tapping back a wall here and hoping to freeze with the next one. They've really cut the ice down to try and reach this top 12 foot rock and tap it back. The crowd responding to some shots in the game between PEI and Newfoundland and Labrador and forcing Amy Nixon to uh, bark out some instructions. Same shot, I think. The skipper really said, the point my fault. Too much ice like one sticking? more time. Like no, I'm not. She said she doesn't see oh. the point of sticking. I don't really see the point. Do you like okay, to stand out? Right out. Nice brushing, guys. Good, Kaylin. Good, sweet one, girl. Good one, Kaylin. Good one. The one thing that I think is hard for some skips, Russ, is to try and come up with a formula for how much to move the broom. So we start with four feet of curl for draws. It's less tonight. There are spots that it is less. But let's just say four feet of curl for draw and maybe two inches for normal hit. But finding that tap range, that can be tough. Quebec leads 3-2, and they have one covered on the pin, Kathy. What's Rachel Holman got here? Well, she's got some pretty deflated eagle, that's for sure. They have been set up for a deuce this entire end. Her team played great. It was the final stone, that get and roll by Marie France yep, yep. that put it right on the pin. They lined up. Could they play an angle? There's not one there. She didn't think she had the draw either when she went down. And it's a steal of one more for Quebec. Up four to two after eight. So Ontario losing. Should they drop a fourth, they would fall into third place. So that would be third place. Fourth place right now belongs to Nova Scotia and Heather Smith Dacey. Alberta and BC trying to win their games to force tiebreakers. Just the hit and roll. If we over curl a bit, and make the double. That's a great shot too. So yeah. I'll, I'll make sure I'm a ten, not a ten, ten and a half. So. Nice little tap by Amy there, We're grouping the two reds together. And, uh, unless this rolls dead on top, there's a chance to freeze. Let's take a look at some of the player numbers, and in particular the skips. And my goodness, if you're Shannon Clybring, this is the worst possible time to come up a little flat. Worst possible time to lose the hit game. And then we've mentioned she struggled with draws, but not that much. That number is just unbelievable for Shannon, who's such a fine player. So the huge edge at skip position is definitely what is showing on the scoreboard. Especially second in Linda, right? The uh, had to draw a full eight. Uh, it was a three-point swing, and that's been the uphill battle ever since. And then in three, she was heavy with her draw, trying to catch a piece of the uh, the button. 
was a quick yeah, five nothing late. lead yeah. and seven four and now as we play here in eight. Over the center line, yeah. I and so are you. So I will be. Yeah, yeah. if I get there, that's the thing. And we're talking just a little more than two feet of ice. They just yeah. tighten it again. You can see the difference from draw to draw, and the the ice has been incredible. But those slight little differences, it's only the best skips that pick up on that. Of her two turns, we keep saying the out turn is the one she has less rotation on, and that means the curl's a little less consistent than the in turn. And it also plows from here on in. There's very little rotation. The rock will stick a little bit. Got to keep it alive to get shot. No, it'll over curl. It will sit for second shot. Shoot, just about. That was close. Perfect way, just a little higher, and it just rolled right into the pocket. I think we play the like Don's curl, don't you? Yeah. Or do you play to I Shannon's think, ice? I think you play the ice we know. I like it. Well, that tells us something, Linda. Has to be dished a little bit because they look at the ice to get to almost the same spot. They're going out way wider than. Uh, just about two feet wider, and it obviously is dished. And what I mean by it's dished line, is, really. we, is you look at the sheet of ice right it. now, it's higher yeah, as we go out food, to the edge so. of the 12 foot. And Shannon just threw inside the hill. Got, this is out on the hill, house, so. and the rock will hit the okay. high spot, start to curl, like, and it curl I mean, a lot more violently than the Alberta rock. Right on it. That's right on really there. good, or right on ours. Okay. Corner freezing right on theirs is great. Little left. This is your spot, Don. It's four Shannon and three quarters. Rolled, uh, about six inches, so this is nearly two feet more ice to get to the same spot. And Linda it doesn't have anything to do with delivery here. In, in this particular case, it doesn't, Vic, because Shannon actually gets more curl on her rock with delivery and rotation. Lines great. Really gotta go. Lines great. Are you? Lines great. Line curl. Curl. Last skin and off as it really got to go. You can hear them. And here they go. Oh, you got it. Oh, we're good. Whoa, where, where, where? Everything they've got. Really hard. Go, go, Trying to draw it in a oh, little bit more. Nope. They're going to get there to sit for third shot. One, two, and four along to Team Canada. The Yellowstone is second shot. A little higher, maybe? Do you think that she can come off the yellow and spin it up? I think it's three. She might be able to. I think I can leave our yellow yeah, I think better than that. Right. One, just throw it into that. Yeah, just have to. It's probably easier with the intern. <laughs> Half her off. Well, three quarters. Playing the easy double will only score you one point because your shooter's going to be out in this area. I think what they're going to have to do to have any chance, Linda, is risk. Nothing for two. She kind of screwed up our redirect. Going into there, just play. ticking this and so hoping you double. save it, but there's a good chance that's going to squirt right under there. So on this side, you guys? I think so they're just going to play this double for one. They yeah. are. And she said there's uh, the nothing there that they were looking at a redirect and yeah. it was taken away. Don't want to just jam it. And that's what she's done. Jam, steal one. Canada now up eight to four with two to play. Well, as we say, it's must win for BC as we welcome you back to Charlottetown. Final night of round robin play. And BC just keeps putting rocks in play and causing all kinds of headaches here for Amber Hall and Kathy. Well, I don't even know if they know who shot Vic. They have spent a lot of time looking. Those stones in the house are all skip stones. Kelly Scott just made that final draw onto the button. It looks as though she's trying to just touch the red one over. Maybe that would give her shot. Oh, and maybe that just a little bit. Oh, goodness. Just that little touch yeah, like may be enough to give <laughs> Saskatchewan a shot. And uh, there's hardly any room to get the measuring stick in there. We'll update you on the measure. 
Meanwhile, a big steal of one for Team Canada in the eighth. And so now it's two ends to play. Alberta, similar situation. Must win. They have the last rock in nine and down by four. Line's good. Not what real. a tough day for Shannon Clybring. She is just not playing well. I don't think she's really feeling the spot to put the broom. She doesn't have the feel for weight. They lost earlier today in a very close game to Nova Scotia. Whether or not that took something, you know, a little wind out of their sails, I don't know. But... This is a real struggle for Shannon. Grab, okay. Couldn't put it in the worst spot either. It's a pretty simple double here. I do like Jennifer, uh, though. On the first throw, they did call Don Askins into the house. Most people with a four-point lead with two ends to go would actually throw everything through and then wait to peel. But then you Whoa! think, well, what if Don Askin doesn't make the shot? No! And then you give your head yeah. a shake. Yeah. <laughs> No. And look at the rock drop in the top Atta of the girl. forefoot. Ooh, very nice. oh. <laughs> Jill made the double, rolled away, and put one right up in the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's up weight. It's up onto the carpet. Stay down center. <laughs> Fifteen. How did that get in? Mine grabbed. Shannon. You must have tipped. Yeah. yeah. I did. Well, look at this. It was a steal of one for BC. And they now lead it six to five. And look at it was four to one Saskatchewan after four and then yeah. one and now four stolen points. Please. Saskatchewan Please. will have the yeah. last yeah. rock Get it. in oh, 10. To, it's hard. <laughs> and a must win for British Columbia. And what a day it's been for <coughs> BC. Earlier today, they needed a, a must-win game against New Brunswick. And then Andrea Kelly missed her final hit and stick. And BC stole two. One red in, so this, even I can analyze this, Kathy. <laughs> this is a draw for two. Good call, Victor. <laughs> it's been one of those ends where after the last one, Rachel Holman playing everything in the house on her final stone, Mighty France, tried the cross house double through big weight and rolled out. And you're right, it is a draw for two. It could tie this game for Ontario with the mate. And they pay you for this. I get <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kathy, she can say the same back to us many times. So there it is, the draw for two, four, four. Quebec will have the hammer. Remember now, if Ontario can steal the win, they will lock up at least third place, possibility of second place if Team Canada should lose. I'm thinking at this point, you just nothing in play. Oh, no, it's just elimination now. Yeah. 
That's what Linda said earlier. You could throw that first one through, and the way it's worked out with the double peel by Jill and roll away, that first one is actually slightly detrimental for Canada. Chance to get them both if they want. She's talking about frost and yeah, she's uh, well, first of all grasping I think uh, hoping for some type of miracle So uh, she'd like to go as wide as she possibly could covering some of the red 12 foot because obviously if there's a total miss And you're wider than that you're bearing around nothing But uh, she feels that the late in the night you can see it's a little whiter out it's wide really out in the last two feet really There's a little there. bit of frost there, but that's not gonna it's not violent enough to stop a rock from Canada the other thing, too, is when you go out this seat. far and you I haven't played out this far before, okay. <laughs> uh, that happens. you're guessing, right? And that yeah. happens. You're right, Vic. Yeah. <laughs> Visually, you can see the white stuff, mm -hmm. but it's, it hasn't grown above the pebble, so it's not affecting yeah, the rocks at all. And if anything, it's keener out there because the pebble hasn't been worn out. So uh, a real misread by Amy there. I didn't catch any frost. In fact, it was better than yeah. in the middle. You have to be careful if you assume it's frost too, because it's just also not walked on very much. I think a lot of people mix up the shiny versus the dull and deciding what it is out there. You need a lot of frost to cover pebble. Exactly. So not to get to throw them through it. <laughs> so yeah, Jennifer Jones uh, throwing the skip stones. That doesn't happen very often as she uh, throws it through. Apparently Up it's by four. That far out. Like it's 55 play. Yeah. Yeah. What they what they learned is that there is still the, that pebble out there. And they, they go to the wings. Yeah, if anything, it's even quicker there. Pretty good stuff. You're in pretty good stuff right now. Pretty straight. Now it's going a bit. And they can't hang it on the edge either. What was that? We're throwing a draw. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's 14 1. There you go. Good here, right, 14 uh, 1, hog to hog. It's, it's still pretty normal. She fired it through, so she needed a 14 4 or something, which is normal. Normal weight, yeah, even out that yeah. wide. Not many misses from this lady today. One draw went through on a draw to get to. Otherwise, she's made a ton of shots, including the remarkable shot to save the game almost oh, against was, five. They only give you four to four for that. That's not enough. And their first attempt was just as good. Uh, Caitlin's played well. A good, solid effort by the whole team. Okay. Slides better than Dawn. Yeah. And here she put a center line back four. Yeah, I think I think my rock. Because yeah. I would you're wishing and hoping you take the single here and yeah. trail by three, or do you keep the yeah. pass rock and try to come they're, back from four? They're going to take the single, yeah. uh, and, and the simple reason you, you yeah. get to throw two Fire. guards, or only three behind Fire. two guards, a couple of mistakes, you can draw your last rock in and in theory sit three, but you still need a wide open miss from Jennifer Jones. And that's what they've uh, done. Picking up the single. Team Canada, one end away from second place. It's the final evening of round robin play here in Charlottetown and the 30th edition of the Scotties, the Canadian Women's Curling Championship. Team Canada up by three. They also have the last rock. 
And so uh, <laughs> trying to lock up second place. Yes, yeah. Oh, she's oh. going to get you throat through. And Jennifer Jones motioning over her shoulder. Anyway, Throw sorry, it through. Don't need the rocks in play. Recap the game's story. Well, there really was mistakes early that put Alberta way behind. Those draws by Shannon Clybrink, that put them behind five after three ends. Jennifer Jones, though, in the fifth end, made the brilliant shot and has had the big numbers, 82%. And Shannon Clybrink has had a very tough day. Game story brought to you by the Dominion, Canada's trusted insurance company. Jill Officer. Yep. 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 Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. Sorry. Kind of no, jumped. That's okay. Yeah. Dong goes flying. Bronwyn Webster. Mention how Alberta's had a tough day for Team Canada after having a rough night last night playing against Kathy Owen. Manitoba and seeing a performance by Kathy Overton Clapham that was superb. They have come back today, Team Canada, and played very well. So it's what we expect from them near the right end of round robin play and what we often see going into the playoffs. And Jennifer Jones the and the team will be very 15, tough. Yeah, kudos to the whole there, team. That had to be a tough okay, loss uh, against uh, Kathy and uh, played great today, all four of them, and just uh, no real chinks in the armor. That one two game's huge because you have that uh, luxury of uh, losing the first one. Yes. Yep. Clean, 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 just clean. Whoa, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Got something? Oh, good. That's why I wanted that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, enough. You'll oh, officer. Thanks, Shannon. Sorry. I got it. Thank you. I know. <laughs> For a nose or complete miss, I want to line them up just in case. Mine's good. Yeah, a little bit. That's good. Nice shot. Nice shot. Mark Daisy here in scouting. The coach of Team Nova Scotia, his wife, Heather Smith Daisy, skipping the team out of the Mayflower and Halifax. Sitting at seven and four and wondering if in fact they will be in a tiebreaker or they will Just be in the three four playoff game directly. Clean, easy. And right now it looks though like they're gonna be playing a tiebreaker. If they scores stay the way they are. BC is leading Saskatchewan as they play in the tenth, and we'll update you on that. When it comes down to uh, the final stones. Time is running out. Stones are running out here on Alberta and Shannon Clybrink from the Calgary Winter Club. They need to make three room. count to tie. Lots of room right now. Really yeah, gotta go now. Really moving. Right to it. Right to it. Line's perfect. Okay, good. And right down to it. 
So Saskatchewan, we know, will be in the 1-2 game. Canada leading, seemingly on their way to clinching second place. Ontario in a tie right now, needing to steal a win to stay in third. Nova Scotia currently in fourth. British Columbia is leading, and if British Columbia does win their game over Saskatchewan, there would be a tiebreaker. Atta girl, you're good, you're good. Nice shot, Kaylin. And there they go. And that's the game. And Team Canada has clinched second place. And the Scotties has come to an end for Shannon Clydrink and Team Alberta. So Team Canada finishes with, re with a record of eight and three. Alberta finishes at six and five. All right. Let's go over to Sheet A, where Saskatchewan and BC are playing. And right now, as they play in 10, there is just the one rock remaining, and it is a 6-5 BC lead. Kelly Scott looking good here. She's come back. Kathy Goche. Well, she certainly has, and for Murph Honger, one of the things he'll need to work with, for sure, Team Saskatchewan, is the number of stones that that team has left in play at 5-1 after 4. It has been lots of rocks. Even in this last end, Vic, they've been playing touch shots, hack weight, bumpers, instead of just clearing. And that forefoot, there is no access for a draw. What has she got here, Russ? Uh, nothing. I, I, I think they're hoping this yellow, they hit the yellow in the high side because the yellow red are frozen, the red will drag. But I'm right lined up with the yellow red. And even if it drags half a rock, it's just going to hit the top one. And I don't think it can possibly make the double. Even if you do make the yellow yeah. double, you're going to lose your shooter. And what does that tell you? 59% for Amber Holland. Final stone. Will BC be in the tie break? Yes, okay, they tight. will. They'll pick up two more for an 8-5 win. What a day it's been. Back against the wall kind of day for BC and Kelly Scott. And she wins two earlier today against New Brunswick. And now tonight against the leader Saskatchewan and they are into a tie break. Well, understandable for Saskatchewan that they didn't have the same motivation, but what a scrappy performance by Kelly Scott and the BC team. Team Houdini. So we know that Alberta with the loss have fallen out of contention. British Columbia, Nova Scotia at four losses. Now Ontario is looking and needs to steal the win in a 4-4 tie right now with Quebec to maintain third spot. Ontario's got a chance here, Vic. Uh, just a, a funny call by Ontario to clean the front off when they're stealing, and uh, Quebec had to throw a guard. They missed the guard. Ontario came down and tapped the yellow one a little deep. Quebec tried to come around, and they have. It's partially buried, but a little bit deep, and I think like with a well-thrown rock, Ontario can get to the inside Whoa. here. Whoa! Whoa! No! no. Yep, 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 no. yep, yep, yep! Perfect no, wait. wait. It's got to be shot. Over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice the Yellowstone shot. that they just nudged, that was just put there. If it had not come so deep, nope. that shot wasn't there. So that's a big mistake. Oh, my goodness. Anything light at all. Oh. I don't know how Ontario, I guess they've got a wide intern. They could sneak in for a piece of the forefoot. But uh, now a difficult shot because if you hit too much of this, you're just going to squirt it into the center line dead buried. Now it's interesting here as much as they want and would like to finish with the win, Ontario should also know at this point that even should they lose and fall to four losses they will be given third place because they beat both bc and nova scotia so regardless of the outcome here it will be 
Saskatchewan, no, okay. Team Canada, okay. and Ontario. And Marie Franz misses the shot stone. And it appears that shot stone is still Ontario. The tie-breaking game will be between British Columbia and Nova Scotia. Yeah, we're short. Does she have any of this? You guys want to chip it under? Sure, but it has to have like. What? I think, I think we guard, right? Time? Calling Maybe. out Andrea Ronebeck to talk about the position of chip the rocks. Chip under or guard? Chip under or guard? Which one? It's totally up to you. What do you want to do? Which is the. Like, even if it's guard. Yeah. What have you got? What, is, what has she got? The draw. She's got the draw around. So, so, for you. so you're thinking of maybe tapping it over? Yeah, I'd chip it in, but we have to roll behind it. Yeah. You think that's it easier to tap Nope. But I think it makes them harder. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to leave that? Yeah. Do you want to throw it? The chip? It's up to you. You know the ice? Yes, I want you to show whatever you feel like. Chip makes it for sure. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? She's been making everything. Just chip it under. You heard the word chip it under. You could throw the guard, as I, I illustrated earlier. They actually want to come down here, just tick it's, it's this a whip, thin. Though, and I can see a lot of my rock. The key is not only to move this, but what? you have to move your shooter uh, far yeah, enough. You don't move your shooter this. far enough, you'll set up an in-op to win for Quebec. Same ice. And the third option is to actually beat them in on the other side and leave a second and, rock top four. And I like that the best, Linda, because I'm not sure if you don't, on this outturn side, I'm not sure if Quebec can get shot rock unless they pick it clean across the top. I don't think they can get to the inside and tap it, do you? I don't know. So they looks at corner cover. So you're right. So their best shot is the uh, in-turn draw. They didn't even look at uh, taking that away. Same ice! Same ice! That intern draw for Quebec is not easy, but that's what uh, they could have left. We haven't been watching this game, but the little comment from Rachel was she's making everything, she being Marie-France LaRouche, I'm assuming. So they're trying to make her shot more difficult. It's the final Whoa. stone Whoa. for Whoa. Ontario Whoa. here in 10 of a 4 4 time. Rachel Holman out of the Ottawa Curling Club. Lisa Weagle, Allison Kreviasek, the brush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emma Miscue whoa, calling whoa. line, and they'll chip it under and back and on top. Good little shot, but it does leave an out. They would have loved to hit that thinner and roll behind the tee line. Should I make perfect roll? What? Should I make perfect roll? Rachel's Rock is biting the button, so the oh, way in for Marie-France LaRouche is yeah. to catch this the is corner of that yeah. red and roll in. Tough shot. Maybe we had less stuff at last set. Let's go back, uh, back out. Marie Franz LaRouche. Her final stone in this no. year's Scotties here in Charlottetown. No. 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 Yeah. 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 They will win it five to four. And they will finish at eight and three and take third place. Quebec will finish four and seven. And also ending Prince Edward Island will win their final game from the Charlottetown Curling Club here at home. Suzanne Burt will pick up the win, the 7-5, the final score. And so PEI will finish 6-5, Newfoundland, and Stacey Devereaux from the Valley Haley in St. John's will go 1-10 in, in her debut.
So the playoff bracket and the playoff teams are set. Saskatchewan and Team Canada will play in the 1-2 game. With the winner right through to the final on Sunday, the loser gets the second chance in the semifinal. Ontario now in third awaits the winner of the tiebreaker, which will feature Nova Scotia and Heather Smith Dacey against the two-time Canadian champion, Kelly Scott from Kelowna, BC. And we'll have it for you Friday afternoon at 1.30 Eastern Time, Nova Scotia and British Columbia. Round Robin is complete. To those teams that are leaving us, we thank you for all your cooperation this week. To the teams remaining, good luck. There's still more of the Scotties here on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN.